Hi, it's Malcolm Struthers here from the NZSO with another video looking at the science of music. And today we're going to be talking about pitch. Well, in music, the word pitch means how high or how low the note is. And why is this important? Well, what was life like back in the olden days when there was only one note? Can you imagine a concert? Or a birthday party. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Duncan. Happy birthday to you. How boring was life back then? But luckily these days we've got a whole lot more notes to use. Well, we know that if we make the string shorter or longer, well, the pitch goes up and down. But where are the real notes there? I think we need some maths to help us figure it out. Here we have a very scientific looking chart showing the length of a string and the shape of a note. This top one is an open string and we can see what that looks like on the lowest note of my double bass. And the second line down is where you stop the note halfway along and you get two even waves of equal length. And further on, you can see that by using fractions, you can divide the length of the string into even amounts. So you get this regular wave shape. So we have a quarter, we've got a third, a sixth, which is half of a third, a fifth, and a seventh. So let's see what these sound like on the double bass. So what I've done here on my double bass is I've put some stickers down the length of the string to show where the fractions are. If I just lightly touch the string, the halfway point, you hear it makes a lovely ringing sound. That's called a harmonic. I can go up, here's a third, quarter, fifth, sixth, seventh, and you can hear they all make harmonics going higher and higher as you go up the string. I can do the same thing on other strings to get different harmonics. So now we've got enough harmonics that we can play a tune. So there you go. That's how pitch using fractions can be divided up to make notes. Well thanks for watching and do look out for some more NZSO videos with players explaining the science of music. And if you've got some instruments at home, maybe you'd like to try and find some harmonics on them. Bye for now.